Hi everybody, it's me Lacey. Um, this is a video response to a question I received from Gemma. I, I believe it's Gemma. Um, correct me if I'm wrong please because I don't want to be saying your name wrong. Uh, you were wondering how long or if I was ovulating prior to taking the soy and the Provera and also you were wondering how long my cycles were and what dosages I took. So, to try to answer all those questions, I'll just kind of give you a, a quick background of what was going on. So, um, the last cycle prior to trying soy, my cycle was over a hundred days long. Um, and by the looks of my chart, I did not ovulate. It was a lot of um, ups and downs of my temperatures. It's kind of like up one day, down the next day, and then it'd go up a little bit the next day, and then up high again, and then drop really low again. So um, usually that would indicate um, that I did not ovulate, and also the fact that I did not start my period and I did not get a BFP, um, you know, also indicates that you have to either start your period, you know, and then 14 days prior, approximately 14 days prior to that was when you ovulated, um, or you would have a BFP. So neither of those things were happening for me. And also my reproductive endocrinologist did tell me that I was most likely anovulatory. Um, my ovaries were, he said, or she said, they were textbook for polycystic ovary syndrome and it didn't appear that I had any one follicle growing larger than the others and all of the um, follicles that were in my ovaries were all very small and resting on the outside um, edge of the uh, ovary. So um, that's what I know about as far as whether I was ovulating just based on what my doctor told me and based on looking at my charts. Um, as far as soy, what I did was I did take the Provera to start my period for that first cycle. And my very first cycle, I took um, cycle days 4 through 8. And the main reason why I did that was just because by the time I decided to do it, I was already on cycle day 4. Um, I had decided on cycle day 3, but I had to still go to the store and get them. So I decided to do um, the 5 days, cycle days uh, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. And I did 80 milligrams each of those nights. And I took it at night time to avoid any side effects. Um, the only side effect that I did notice was that I had sensitivity to light. Um, just a little bit. It wasn't too bad. Wearing a pair of sunglasses would have, you know, been just fine. Um, I didn't notice any of the other side effects by taking it at night time. I avoided any hot flashes, any headaches, um, anything like that I avoided. So... Um, that was really easy and good. Um, the second cycle, I did up my dose a little bit because I wasn't convinced that I ovulated, even though, um, I did have a very light period, um, on cycle day 32 or something like that, after that first cycle. It was, like, spotting and very light flow for only three days, which is very uncommon for me if I'm having AF for real. Um, so I wasn't really sure if that was because the cycle prior to that I had taken Provera and Provera like cleans me out 100% and it's terrible. So, um, it could be that there just wasn't much lining in there to, to have to get rid of so I didn't bleed that much. I don't know. Um, but, uh, anyways, I wasn't convinced that I had ovulated. I didn't, wasn't able to do OPKs that first cycle with soy. And I also wasn't able to temp right around the time of ovulation. So I wasn't for sure. So the second cycle, I did increase the dose. And I did um, 120 milligrams on cycle days 3, 4, and 5. And then I did 160 milligrams cycle days uh, 6 and 7. So, um, but that cycle was not good for me. I had a cycle that was... 70 something days long and I finally, uh, maybe it was shorter than that, 60 something. Um, and I finally took the Provera which I just, um, my, my, my period is just ending from doing that and this cycle I took 80 milligrams um, of soy again. I decided to go back down to 80 milligrams to try it again at that dose, um, cycle days 
3, and then I forgot on cycle day 4, so I took it cycle day 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. So that's what I did. Um, I really don't have any side effects to, to complain about or anything. Um, I hope those that answers your questions. Um, if you do have any other questions, feel free to message me or comment on this video. Alright, I hope um, you have some really great luck with soy. I've been happy so far. I mean, I've only done three. This is my third cycle, so um, I do believe if I don't get a BFP this cycle, I might give my body a rest for one full cycle and then maybe try again. So that's where I'm at, and I hope this was helpful, and lots of baby dust to you, Gemma. All right, thanks. Bye.